Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of Ted's Booze Cellar with me, your most gracious host, Ted. Now, I'm sorry for not having done an episode of this in a while, and also, I uh, I have been uh, just a bit busy recently with uh, writing an essay and uh, doing quite a few other important things, so hence the reason why you probably haven't seen an episode of this in a while, and also why I probably look like I've gained a bit of weight. So, yeah, I, I mean, well, that and also my bike recently got a puncture on its back tyre, which is annoying. That's something I'll get around to fixing soon enough. Uh, still got the gym membership anyway, so making good use of that. Uh, but today, considering that uh, today is the day that Manchester City won the Premier League title for the second time in a row, I thought I'd toast their success in a show of honour, uh, coming from a Charlton fan, of course. Um, probably not... Uh, probably not quite as good as Manchester City at the moment, but we're in the League One playoffs, so that's something. Um, but I thought I'd, in a show of honour to Manchester City for being quintessentially the best team in England this season by toasting them with a fine, fine whiskey, fine as uh, Manchester City's own performance this season, I would say, and Liverpool's, Liverpool's as well, to be fair, because they've also been excellent. Today we are going to be looking at the delightful little whiskey Monkey Shoulder. Now this is one I've enjoyed on quite a few occasions. Uh, they tend to sell it quite a lot in a number of pubs around Sussex. And uh, it's a uh, blended malt scotch whiskey. Um, the writing on this tiny bottle is really small. Rooted in malt whiskey history. It's probably not something they uh, give as a degree at university. But anyway, uh, and inspired by the malt men... It just sounds like a Zelda enemy, uh, who still turn the malting barley by hand. Monkey shoulder is blended in small batches of three fine space eyed single malts and then married to achieve a smoother, richer taste. I mean, granted, that could all be true, but like, for we know, it's just a nice whiskey. Uh, so it's 40%, so that's probably why I just got a wee little bottle like this. Got, and uh, the way I'd recommend to serve this is on the rocks, so I've already got my uh, tumbler glass all ready with a few bits of ice in it. Uh, and to be honest with you, that's the full extent of the serving suggestions for it, I would say. Uh, just have it on the rocks after a nice meal with maybe a cigar in hand, uh, as a traditional old gentleman would do. But uh, let's let's give it a try anyway and see what it's like. Mmm, God, that is good. The good thing is as well is it's quite a smooth whiskey, so you can enjoy it without ice cubes, um, admittedly. But I like to do do it with them because it gives it a really nice, like, smooth finish when you drink it, and um, it kind of tastes a little bit like famous grouse, but like a lot smoother and a little bit more easily digestible. Um, and in recent times, I would say this has probably overtaken that as my favourite, like, commercial whiskey that you can buy like just in the standard whiskey that you can buy in like the supermarkets here in England um it's definitely worth giving it a try it's not a mixing whiskey though unlike say you know something like uh you know bells or like uh jack daniels or something like that it's really just one you have either on its own or on the rocks um but it's definitely worth trying at least once or twice like i said it's really more of an after dinner drink uh, more than anything but it's definitely something you should savour. Or actually a celebration drink like today, maybe had with a couple of like nice uh, toffees or um, a, uh, a spot of dry roasted peanuts or something like that. In any case, I, um, I think I would be befitting to give it a solid... Let's say... 8 point... 8.5. Two five, I think, at least. Um, it's a definite buy, and I think it's well worth having more than once. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. As always, please drink responsibly and know your limits. Uh, be sure to check out my other social media platforms and um, YouTube channels in the video description below. Leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe. And yeah, until next time, this has been me, Ted, with Ted's Booze Cellar, and I'll see you guys at the bar. Bye-bye for now.